Today we're looking at figure 4.1 on page 66 of your textbook. Now this figure uh, looks at the way the economic efficient level um, is in the market and where the social efficient rate of output is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name my axis. I'm going to call this cost slash price. So um, again, the textbook just uses a dollar sign for sh short. You're welcome to do that as well. We will zero to show the origin and then quantity. Right. Um, first curve I'm going to draw is my marginal willingness to pay curve. Now we've said initially you're willing to pay a lot of money and then as you get more your willingness to pay decreases with each unit of, that you buy. So this is your marginal willingness to pay curve. The other side of this is your marginal cost curve. Initially um, produces as a low marginal cost and that increases as quantity increases. Right, now what we say here is efficient level of um, output would be where these two uh, intersect. So I'm going to call this um, efficient level of output, I'm going to call it equilibrium star. And here I have a price or a cost of P star and the quantity output of let's call it Q star. Right. Okay, so this is basically just this is where it's the most uh, social efficient rate of output. Another way to think of this is they say that your total uh, willingness to pay minus your total cost will give you your if social efficient level. So if we are currently at uh, E star over here, then the whole part, this whole part is under this whole green part here, under the marginal willingness to pay curve, gives me my total willingness to pay. This is the value of my total willingness to pay. But my total cost is the area under the, co uh, the marginal cost curve over here. So the social um, efficiency or the net value I'm left with is, is this yellow area over here. And that's why th this is what this curve tells us.